This video is going to be about fitness and adaptation and how to tell the two apart. First we're going to look at the theory of evolution because both fitness and adaptation are related to this theory but they are two different topics themselves. The theory of evolution was theorized by Charles Darwin when he explored the world on the HMS Beagle, this lovely ship right here. And what he saw in his travels on the Beagle did in fact help him theorize the evolutionary theory, but it also helped him understand natural selection, which leads us to our first topic, fitness. And fitness didn't mean working out your body so that you'd get a body shape that was somewhere in between Steven Tyler and Brock Lesnar. No. It meant fitness in Darwin's terminology means that an organism that is able to survive the trials of the environment and create offspring are then considered to be fit and are then able to become the dominant species of its kind within time. But just to clear things up, natural selection is not something that just happens. Like Lamarck's theory, the giraffe theory, that short necked giraffes wanted, driven by inner need, wanted to stretch out their necks so far to reach up into the trees to eat the leaves that eventually happened. No. A long time ago, when giraffes were varied in having short necks or long necks, everything was okay until the vegetation on the ground started to die out and become scarce. The only vegetation left were the leaves that were high up in trees, so natural selection came into play and the short neck giraffes eventually died out while the long neck giraffes were able to live and survive because they were able to reach the leaves and sustain themselves, passing on the genetic long neck trait onto their offspring. So due to a genetic mutation that was okay between the two of having a long neck, the long neck giraffes were able to survive and the short neck ones eventually died out. And that's why we commonly have long neck giraffes because of a genetic mutation, which helped them out. So in summary, being fit in Darwin terms pertains to natural selection and natural selection is an animal's ability to survive and create offspring. Now adaptation. Adaptation is the change in an organism structure, physically or behavior patterns resulting from natural selection where the organism becomes better fitted to survive in its environment. Meaning, Adaptation is a physical process that changes an organism's anatomical structure and behavioral pattern that happens within an organism's lifetime. So it's something physical. It's like on the outside. Excuse me. Like adapting to the changing weather by using your umbrella. Well, not Gene Kelly because he's too busy singing. Lizards and other animals have adapted to their environment by having frangible, fra sorry, frangible tails, tails that can break off to distract predators and get away. So these two guys can break off their tails, distract predators, whoever's hunting them, and just scurry away, get away, you know, real fast. So in summary, adaptation is a similar, is similar, <laughs> is a similar, is similar to fitness, except that it is physical or behavioral trait that has been enhanced by natural selection to survive versus a random mutation that helps the organism genetically. So, adaptation, it is a trait that is developed physically on the outside during an um, organism's lifetime. So it's something that that does happen within the lifetime. But fitness is something that happens because of a genetic mutation. Something that starts off, that, start, that you start off with, like uh, the giraffes, short neck, long neck, Long neck eventually survived because of the genetic mutation. They were able to reach up into the trees, eat the leaves, and survive. Create offspring and more long neck giraffes showed up. So that is fitness and adaptation. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment if I missed anything or got anything wrong. Thanks.